Over 35 million people worldwide are living with HIV. Treatments cost billions and don't come without significant side effects for the individual. But this may be about to change with a new drug duo. Clinical safety trials have started and Professor Afta Banzari at Emro University hopes that debilitating lifelong HIV treatments will soon become a thing of the past, he told me. The most we can do for patients with HIV at the present time really is to give them a combination of antiretroviral therapy. But there are problems associated with like with everything else. One of the biggest problems is that once they stop taking in these drugs, the virus rebounds rapidly, almost to the level that they had prior to the initiation of the therapy. So what it translates into is that these patients have to take antiretroviral drugs for, for life. I mean, think about it. These drugs are not without side effects. In terms of clinical care and clinical uh, burden and uh, financial burden, economic burden, it's a formidable challenge in terms of clinical care of the patients. So what strategy did you come up with? We have developed a model which will eliminate the lifetime use of antiretroviral drugs. We exploited the finding that the gut gets basically destroyed within a few weeks after infection. Wait, so how does the gut get destroyed? HIV infects and kills immune cells, more specifically the so-called CD4 cells, and in early stages of HIV, particularly those CD4 cells that reside in the gut. To mitigate the damage, our body sends new CD4 cells to the gut, but it turns out that this is a pretty bad idea, because they too are infected. So the body sends even more cells and so on and so forth. The result? The immune system loses many of its precious helpers. But... What if we could warn the CD4 cells to stay away from the gut? Hmm, sounds like a plan, but how? Professor Ansari and his team may have found a way. What we found was that the CD4 cells utilize a protein on their cell surface, which is called the alpha-4 beta-7 integrin. So this integrin is on the cell surface, which is like a zip code on the cell, which basically trains the cells to seek the gut. So the strategy that we developed was, can we develop a, uh, antibody against the alpha-4 beta-7 and inhibit the trafficking of these new cells into the gut, which is exactly what we did. We took a group of monkeys, rhesus macaques, and we infected them with SIV, which is a cousin of the HIV we then uh, treated all of these monkeys uh, with antiretroviral drugs that can treat human HIV-infected patients. And then we divided the monkeys into two groups. We had the, m a group of eight monkeys that we gave the antibody to, and then we had a control group of seven monkeys. Uh, what we found was that as soon as we stopped the antiretroviral drug therapy, the seven monkeys that got the control all rebounded like we expected. As compared to the eight monkeys that we gave the antibody to, these monkeys w went on to control virus to undetectable levels spontaneously. Wow, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it is a remarkable finding. So how are the monkeys now? Are they doing well? At yes, they are collecting the hotel bill. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, they are two years out. So they've been controlling their virus for a long period of time, spontaneously. So what we think is happening is that we are protecting the gut or the immune system and allowing the monkey's immune system now to mount an immune response to control the level of viremias. And they are very healthy. And most importantly is the immune system is back to fully functional status. The gut is back to normal. And I think they're living very happily after. Wow. So you're saying because you're giving the treatment for such a short period of time, you can basically circumvent any adverse effects. We cannot see any effect. They're completely healthy. If only we were monkeys. Do you have any evidence that it would work in humans as well? So currently, Dr. Fauci at the NIH, who is a co-author on the paper, he has already started a 20-patient safety trial. Once it is proven to be safe and not uh, you know, inducing any, any adverse effect, which I believe there will not be because clinicians that have used this antibody um, in Europe, particularly in England, uh, in patients with uh, gut disease, uh, have not seen any major side effects of the antibody. So that means essentially you combine the treatments that is already in use, the antiretroviral treatment, with another treatment that is already in use, the antibodies, to get the effect. Uh, that's exactly right. 
that's, uh, that's why it's exciting to be able to see this go forward in the clinic. Even though we are not monkeys, a permanent treatment against HIV might be on its way. That was Professor Aftar Banzari speaking with me from Atlanta. He and his team published their new drug duo in Science this week.